Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new Claude Code wrapper that is the final wrapper I'd recommend for anyone to use, and this one is simply called Claude Code UI. Now, I have covered things like Claudia and Crystal IV, which aim to be desktop app wrappers for Claude Code, but they are desktop based and not web based. This means you can't access them on the web so they are strictly bound to your desktop. You can't host them on a server and access them from anywhere. And you also can't use them to access Claude code from your phone, which can be a bummer. But today's wrapper is finally the best one that I have seen yet, and it's actually useful. I'm probably going to use this a lot. So, what this Claude code UI does is pretty simple. It gives you a desktop, and mobile UI for Claude Code, which is Anthropic's official CLI for AI-assisted coding. You can use it locally or remotely to view your active projects and sessions in Claude Code and make changes to them the same way you would in the Claude Code CLI. This gives you a proper interface that works everywhere. It is responsive, meaning that it works seamlessly across desktop, tablet, and mobile. It also has a built-in chat interface for seamless communication with Claude Code, as well as direct access to Claude Code CLI. Along with that, there's an interactive file tree with syntax highlighting and live editing. You can also resume conversations, manage multiple sessions. There are a ton of settings available here, and you can configure a lot of options to make it behave accordingly. For example, there's the YOLO mode, and other features like that as well. Another thing that isn't mentioned here, but can be done, is that you can take a VPS, install Claude Code on it, and then install this UI. Then you can easily use Claude Code with the UI, and when you are on the go, you can access the same session on your phone or another computer. Or, for local use, you can easily host it, and then share it locally, allowing you to access it from your phone, which should also be great. It also works with Claude Max and Pro subscriptions, if that's something you need, and there aren't any issues with that either. You just have to make sure that you configure Claude Code CLI itself first, as it uses that in the backend. So, it will just use that based on however it is configured. Now let me show you how you can use it and do some cool stuff with it as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. First of all, you can easily clone it locally, then get into the folder, install the dependencies, and then copy the env example file as env. It just has the information about which port you want to run it on and nothing else. Anyway, then run it with npm run dev and it should get started. Now, to use it, you'll have to head over to port 3009 and you'll see this interface. This is what it looks like. You'll see that on the left, you have all the recent Claude Code sessions. You can click on any of them, and it will open up the chat here. You can see what changes you made, or what Claude Code did, and send follow-up prompts and everything. It will just work similarly to how Claude Code works, since it is a wrapper for that. You can also see the prompt box at the bottom, where you can easily type in whatever you want it to do. You can also hit the at symbol, and it will allow you to mention files in it as well, which is also kind of cool. 
You also have another option here that allows you to speak, and it will automatically transcribe your voice and use it as your prompt, which is pretty cool for sure. You can also start new sessions on new projects by hitting the Add option and then entering the path of your project. You can also see this option here, which will basically just open up Claude Code Terminal on the web and allow you to use the simple Claude Code interface and work with that, which is quite awesome as well. It's quite responsive and everything. You also have the Files option, which will allow you to edit the code through here and save it as well if that's needed. Another thing you have is the Source option, which allows you to commit the changes through this UI as well. It also allows you to see the files and diffs that have been changed. This is quite amazing for sure. Another thing is the Settings option. In the Settings, you can see these options, which include the Theme option as well as permission settings that enable the YOLO mode, which is also cool. You can also enable the tools that you want to use in Claude Code, and you can also disallow tools if that's needed. It is also responsive, so it should work well on mobile devices as well. Now, let me also show you how it exactly works. So, let's hit this and add our new folder over here. Now, I'm going to ask it to make me a simple Minesweeper game here. And as you can see, it will go ahead and make me a Minesweeper game, just like Claude Code does all the time. It's amazingly good. And it's really very impressive if you ask me, because it's a great option that allows you to access Claude Code easily without messing around with the terminal or stuff like that. It's also responsive, so you can even use it on a mobile device. It's actually a kind of alternative to things like Codex and Jewels, as it can be hosted and then used accordingly. It works well, and you can go ahead and use this as well. This one is the most practical one to use when you compare it to things like Claudia or Crystal, because it can make Claude code accessible for you at multiple places and stuff like that. You can also use it with Claude Pro and Mac subscriptions, which is kind of cool as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.